Hi everybody, welcome back to Donny Boy 73, the small engine doctor. Today I'm going to show you how to examine the fuel line on your still outdoor power equipment. So this will include grass trimmers and chainsaws. Tom, a YouTuber from Independence, Missouri, sent me the fuel line from his chainsaw here just to show what can happen over time. So here's the fuel line. It looks good. Here's a close look at the line. You can't see any holes or anything really wrong with it. But actually if you pull a bit on it like this, you can see cracks here. So even though these cracks may seem small, they will cause a problem. They may actually cause your unit to suck in some air or leak gas through there and it's just not going to run properly. And I'll check the rest of the hose here and the rest seems good. So really it's just this part here and you can't see the cracks until you pull on it. Another problem that can happen is that the ends of the fuel line are going to be loose on the carburetor connector sometimes. This is just another carburetor here I'm using to show you what I mean. It's not an actual steel carburetor, but I've seen before where the connector is loose. And here's a good example, like on this connector here. It's not tight. And it could also suck in some air here, or leak gas, and your saw's not going to run right. The same thing will apply to a grass trimmer. So what you want to do is make sure that the fuel line is tight on the connectors. For the price of a new fuel line, just buy a new one and install it. Don't cause yourself a lot of aggravation by trying to save a few bucks. Usually you can buy these fuel lines for around 10 bucks, so save yourself the headaches and get a new one. Because I regularly come across this problem, when I do an overhaul on the chainsaw or a grass trimmer, I'll usually replace the fuel line. And also if your chainsaw has an impulse line, which is a small tube like that that goes from the crankcase to the carburetor, you can check it the same way. They often get cracked and brittle and will leak air and your chainsaw will not run properly. Another important part of the fuel line to check is the grommet. You want to make sure that it goes nice and snug in the fuel tank or else it could leak fuel there. If you see that the rubber is deteriorated or too soft or too loose in the fuel tank, then replace the fuel line. So again, thanks to Tom from Missouri for reminding us of this common problem. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.